Hey guys, it's New Year's Eve. I just got home. I've had a lovely, lovely time with my friends, dinner, celebrating the new year, fireworks, singing, you name it. We had it all. Happy New Year! Yeah. And it was a magnificent evening. That's none of the matter. The video I'm recording right now is for you, is for this next week's challenge, the first of 2017 and it's gonna be all about working on our goals for one week putting out in a little more effort than we usually would and in the end of the week having a weekly evaluation that is this week's challenge and that is what this video is gonna be all about so stay tuned and I will tell you all the details <music> Two thousand and seventeen is finally here, and boy, am I excited about this year! It's gonna be the most amazing year ever. I hope you feel the same way because I want this not only to be my year, I want this to be our year the year when we took our personal development to a new level, when we took our life to a new level. We just started to pursue what really mattered for us. And not only for a year, but for the rest of our lives. But this year, today, was the day when it started for real. An intense and focused way. Because these last three weeks, we have been working on developing our goals for 2017. Developing a strategy for how to reach those goals. And now if you're new to this channel, this, this is the first time you're watching this, that is what we have been doing. But it's not too late for you, you can still set some goals. Just look back at the videos, or if you just have a clarity on where you wanna go, join this challenge. This week when we are gonna work for the first time intensely on our goals. Putting in a little more effort than maybe we will do in the future, that's up to you, but to really start off this first week, to get some momentum, to feel that we actually are taking this somewhere, when we are putting in some real effort and energy into our goals. We start to develop a habit, we just do this the real way, we have a good chance of making it through the whole year. But it is a matter of developing habits, it is a matter of developing routines and constant taking action on those things. That is when we can progress, not a very heavy load in the beginning and then just you know forget about the goals, because that happens so often. But if we implement this habit of weekly evaluating how we are progressing on our goals, constantly reminding ourselves for why we actually started to pursue these goals. What drove us to actually write down those goals? We need to remind ourselves what's important in life because everyday life will always take over. We will always be reactive if we don't remind ourselves, if we don't elevate ourselves to that bird use perspective, look down at our lives, see what's what, what we are putting in our action and time on, see what really matters. Are those things aligning? Are we actually doing what we should do? Or are we wasting our lives on the things that really doesn't matter? That are the questions you need to ask yourself on a regular basis. Otherwise, you will fall in the trap of just doing stuff that's in front of you, being reactive. We don't want to be that. That's not going to take you toward your goals. It may take you towards your goal in a very random way and in a very time non-efficient. That's not the way we want to go about it. We want to be deliberate, focused, and just know where we want to go. And that's why last Friday we had our first live weekly evaluation. And that is something new for this, this year, this channel. When we, each Friday, people are gonna do evaluation together. I'm gonna start off with going through the week. It will always be a live stream for you to put in your perspective on it, 
to share your thoughts if you, or if you just have questions concerning the topic. But that's the first part of the valuation of the actual challenge that we have been doing. But then it's time for you and me to work on our own to evaluate the, the week. How have we been progressing on our goals? How can we maybe course correct or just reflect, ask ourselves, what did I do? What felt good? What didn't feel good? Why didn't I do anything this week? Maybe it was just a week where work or school or whatever just took all the time we had, but then at least we know why that didn't happen. And then we can adjust for the coming week, because in this weekly evaluation process, it is also a process of planning ahead for next week to schedule things. If we don't have that habit, the chance of us actually reaching our goals is so, so, so much more. Unless you are super, super, super motivated, then you don't even need a strategy. You just, you just know where you want to go, you will get there. That's how deep motivation works. But you can make that journey so much more efficient. And you can have parallel goals, you can have multiple goals. If you work more in a deliberate, strategized way about it. So, that is the challenge. Every day we have to make one to three actions on one of our goals. And then Friday evening, I'm gonna do the weekly evaluation and I would love, love, love if you could join me for that. So we can start to have this habit together. So that is the ID and I hope you feel excited because I am excited. This is when we start, this is when it all begins towards our goals. And if you don't feel excited, you haven't put up good goals. <laughs> You need to feel something for real in here when you think about your goals. Honestly, if, if you don't feel anything when, you, when I say goals, then you haven't set any good goals. Sorry, <laughs> that's just the case. <laughs> that's just the case. Yeah, so I hope, 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 hope you will make this journey with me. I really want to thank you for this year that has been, I mean, some people may look at this challenge and think, well, you've been doing this for like seven, eight months now. You only have 70 subscribers. But you know what? I really don't care about that. What I care about is making this journey, developing a format that will work for you and for me, finding a system to, to make us develop together to make us go after those things that will that will make us grow. And we are far from there yet. I, I am gonna play around with this. Just to talk a little bit about what lies ahead here on this channel. The first month or coming weeks, I want to have a like a first part when we intensely work on our self-confidence, developing our our self-esteem. It's such a foundation in everything within personal development. We have to start from within. Finding that core confidence. Doing what you and I believe in. Having the guts to, to speak our mind and just trust ourselves and what we want to accomplish. So that is just a little quick uh, view on the what lies ahead. And if you have any ideas or thoughts on this, love to hear them just share them with me and i will absolutely consider what you're what you're telling me i'm open to ideas as i've said this is something we do together that's also why i really believe in this live streaming format on the fridays to find a, a routine where we do things together it's not just me talking it's it's more of a dialogue between us so we can discuss and reflect and help each other out. That is it for tonight. I mean, almost half past four. I hope you had a great evening. My name is Alexander Nilsson and I'm signing out. I'm thanking you for watching this video all the way through to, to the end. And I'm also going to ask you to hit the subscribe button if, if you want to join this channel and what we're doing here, if you want to 
develop yourself to new levels. If that is something for you, if you feel that you connect with me, please hit the subscribe button and we'll just have an awesome 2017 together. Bye guys. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.